I am Mirka Tomášek, I am Red Hat engineer and I am going to walk through the OpenStack deployment using new Triplo UI. So I have the undercloud set up with Triplo UI on top and I am going to log into the application using the credentials from the stackrc file. After login we are getting to the deployment plan page which is which serves as an overview uh, of the deployment which we are working with. It consists of three parts. First one is telling us which deployment we are working with and allows us to select some other. The second one is the wizard which has three steps and is guiding the user through the deployment. And the third section are the validations. Uh, they are providing feedback to make sure that the configuration which we are doing is correct and they are grouped in three sections right now and uh, they are currently triggered manually. Uh, Triplo UI enables us to work with multiple deployments uh, each resembling to a specific set of templates. By clicking manage deployments uh, we are getting to the deployment plans page where we can create a new plan uh, by specifying the name and uh, uploading the selection of the triple hit templates and this will create the plan for us. From this page I'm also able to remove the deployment plan If I create a new plan, I can activate it from here or I can go back to the deployment plan page and select appropriate deployment which, are, which I want to work on. First step in the process of designing the deployment is specify deployment configuration. The deployment configuration consists of two parts. Our first part is overall settings and parameters. The overall settings is uh, describing the configuration sets which are used to enable certain features uh, in the overcloud. Uh, for the sake of the demo I'm going to stick with uh, basic configuration which is pre-selected for me and I'm going to move over to the parameters. The parameters section is uh, consists of generated list of parameters which are provided by heat and uh, this is currently quite a long list and we're working on getting it more organized and simplified. Uh, some of those parameters uh, are already pre-filled pre with, uh, with the default values and I'm going to be deploying, deploying a simple deployment which is going to consist uh, one controller and one compute so I need to set uh, the cor correct flavors for those two. So I'm going to search for flavors and uh, set the over overcloud compute flavor parameter to compute. And overcloud control flavor to control. And I'm going to submit the form. So the parameters were updated and uh, we finished the first step of the deployment. In the second step we are going to register and assign nodes. Since I don't have any introspective nodes available yet, I'm going to register nodes. And uh, here I can, there are, there are currently two ways how we can register the nodes. Either uh, we can add one by one manually and fill in all the details about the node or we can upload uh, the instacan.json file and the UI is going to prefill uh, with the nodes provided from this file. Now, registering functionality is currently being worked on on the backend so it's currently not possible to do it from the from the UI 
and uh, we still need to do to use the CLI for this. So I'm going to cancel here, and as you can see, I've already registered three nodes here using the CLI, and uh, I need to introspect them. So I'm going to select all of them and uh, trigger the introspection. The introspection uh, itself takes uh, quite a while and uh, during the process the nodes are going to transition to manageable state, uh, powered on, uh, they will get introspected and then they will be powered off again. And in the end they will appear in the introspected tab. After the introspection is finished, we can go back to deployment plan page. And as I described previously, I'm going to assign one node to the controller role and one node to the compute role. So I'm going to click assign nodes and here from the selection, I'm going to select one node and assign it. You can see it's assigned to the controller role and now I'm going to assign another one to the computer. Um, now we are getting to the last part of the wizard, which is the actual deployment. But uh, before doing that, we, it's very good time to run the validations to verify that the deployment setup which we've created is correct. So I'm going to trigger all the hardware discovery validations and I'm also going to trigger the network configuration validation. And you can see that some of the validations are failing for me and uh, this is because of my demo setup uh, which is running on the virtual machines and those virtual machines don't match uh, the minimum hardware configuration which is uh, required by, by those validations. And you can see that the network configuration validation has uh, succeeded. So uh, now I'm going to uh, trigger the deployment by clicking verify and deploy. And you can see that uh, there's a progress bar which describes uh, that the deployment is in progress.